Pops, and this is a off schedule, little bit of uh, pop up live, if you will. I just got through going through all of my uh, all of the new goodies that were in two very large boxes. I'm going to go ahead and refresh over here just to be sure I'm actually transmitting. All right, it looks like I am. I see things moving, and I see the message from YouTube saying I'm live. So yay! Hopefully some folks will pop in. If you do, give me a shout. All right, so the brand new annual catalog that goes live on the 2nd of May, I believe, for customers is um, on the street for demonstrators. So this is a really good time. If you're interested in joining, uh, you could get in on my pre-order just like I did. Hey, Tara, appreciate you coming. Sorry for the kind of short notice. To be quite honest, I wasn't sure UPS was gonna get everything here today. It's been hit or miss for all the people who ordered. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Carol. Hi, Marianne. Um, so I've, I got very, very fortunate that my things came. Um, hi, Bonnie. All right, so we're gonna get started. It was two giant boxes. And I will tell you that most of what was in there was new um, in colors and new core and returning colors. So let's look at the in colors first, because um, sometimes it helps to see them in cardstock and not just in a picture. So I'm going to get rid of that. So the new in colors, the 2023 to 2025, are copper clay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and um, find my scissors, which have disappeared in this. Okay, so yesterday looked like an EF1 tornado, and today is more like an EF4 in here. <laughs> but it'll it'll get together. I know, Christy, it is very sad. There were definitely some legal issues that um, Stampin' Up! simply couldn't avoid anymore, and so it has to go. Um, and I'm, I'm real sorry about that because I sure do love it. Okay, so here is copper clay. I love the new in colors. I know I've heard some people say that they're not really fans, but I am. These colors are in my wheelhouse for sure. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Tina. All righty. Here we go. And this one is wild wheat. So anybody who likes to do vintage kind of um, distressed looking cards, I think you're really, really going to like this. I have obviously got an extra something here. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, something isn't right. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, so I've got wild wheat. Yep. I've got copper clay. I've got pebbled path. I have pecan pie. Pecan pie. That one is not one. Hang on a second. Just a second. See, I'm still learning just like everybody else. Pecan pie is a new neutral. Get off of there, pecan pie. I'll show it to you in a minute if you'd like to see it. Boho blue, if you recall, this was the color of the um, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I have a little bit of secret news. Right now, demonstrators can purchase that stamp and cut machine, the mini, in boho blue straight out. So if you are a demonstrator and you didn't get one when it was out for the celebration joining special, you can get one now. And if we have any left after the demonstrators all get a shot at it, then when the catalog goes live in May, customers will be able to purchase it. So if you love boho blue, then this would be an opportunity to get a cutter in that beautiful color. Yes, Debbie, I agree completely. These are going to be amazing fall colors. Um, there are There is ribbon that goes with that's very, very beautiful. These are the in-color ribbons. So we get these for two years. Let me see if I can get my skizzers in there without, without skizzerizing the actual ribbon. Don't want to do that. There we go. Okay. There, there we go. This is um, this is the Moody Mauve, and it is three eighths wide, and it's called textured ribbon, and it's a very nice hand. Let's see what kind of a ribbon a bow it's going to make, shall we? So you guys know I love you because that's the only reason I would do a bow <laughs> on you know on TV, as it were. So it's nice. It's a little bit thick, but it has a nice drape, and it'll make pretty bows if someone makes bows better than I do. 
So we get these colors in all five of the new in colors. And we have a new design for our designer series paper. So you'll find this in all of the color families and both the 23 to 25 and the 22 to 24 in colors, all right? And these are the new designs. You get um, stripes and dots on one of them. And then you get these little scattered hearts and some dashes. So pretty neutral designs, really. And then, of course, you get them in all of the colors. All right. And there are um, 40 sheets in the in color packs. And the uh, family color packs all have 40 sheets as well. Okay. Okay. So that, so that, okay. Okay. Good. Let's put this away and see if I can tidy up a little bit. I see my stamp and write markers sitting there, so that is a perfect opportunity for me to share that the stamp and write markers have been redesigned. All right. Now I pulled out uh, the actually I pulled out the new ones from 2224 so that I could compare them straight up because this is something I have been very interested in seeing. First off, um, let's see. Gosh, I just messed that up, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is the new one, and this is this is the old version of the Stampin' Write marker. This is the new version. You can see just off of the top, right from the jump, the barrel of the new ones is longer and the caps are shorter. The overall length stays the same, but you basically are getting more ink in your marker, okay? Now, here is the old version of... This is old. Here, I'll put the, this is new. This is old, okay? So here is the new version. This is the difference in the brush tip. Can you see that difference? Yeah. What I wanted to do was, nope, wrong, wrong, new, and new. Yeah, see, I believe, I personally believe that is a much nicer um, color, uh, not color, but brush stroke. How about that? That's, that's the word I was actually looking for. So let me put this on because the real big difference, the huge monkus difference, the ginormous difference is in the other end. Are you ready? Okay, this is the old version. I don't know about you guys, but this is like one of my least favorite things ever is this tip. It just, I just don't like it. I don't like how it writes. It's very persnickety for um, transferring ink. And so they heard our cries and we have a new tip. Can you see that? Yeah, baby. Yeah, exactly, Holly. This end is always, always, always going to be dry. Hello, Monica from Switzerland. Appreciate you coming so late in the evening. Um, now, let's see. I want to draw with this one. Let me see. Hello. Oh, my gosh. I love these. So, y'all, I'm just, I'm just saying this straight up. I know that all of you have all of the Stampin' Write markers. Replace them with this new version. I promise. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. Oh my gosh, I love them. I am so glad I bought all of the new, all of the every ones, and I can now go through and put new ones in uh, where I need them. Oh, I'm so excited. This is Parakeet Party, so it goes in here. Oh, that's wonderful. Well done, Stampin' Up. Well done. All right, one more thing about in colors, the new in colors. No, Brenda, you were absolutely not the only one. Many of us did. Uh, speaking of new in colors, we have the 2023-25 in color dots. I am a very big fan of anything that comes with adhesive on the back already. And these are wonderful, beautiful colors in all the five new 23-25 in colors. And actually, they're pretty flat, which I also like. So they aren't going to add a whole lot of depth and thickness to your card. So that is wonderful. Another job well done. Okay, now I'm sure that what you want to see is some paper. How about some paper? Now, the Zany Zoo 
is one of the suites in the new catalog. I decided to save something for a second pre-order and also let my room get something approximating some kind of order. And so I did not get the whole suite, but I do like to always get the, um, the DSPs so that I can show them to you. So this is the front and here's the back. And it's really quite cute. And I believe, unless I'm very much mistaken, which I could be, I mean, I know you guys think I'm, well, perfect in every way, but I do frequently screw up. But I believe that the dies in this set are going to cut out parts of these DSP patterns. So that's cool. So we're just gonna run through that. There's a hiking pig. Just so you guys know, pigs don't hike. Just saying. Also, skunks hardly ever go bird watching, but maybe, I don't know. I definitely think lions will uh, roast marshmallows. But what I kind of like is that you get ones that are just black and white and you can color the designs, uh, the little animals to suit your happiness. And the same is true, obviously, on the back where you get black and white designs. These really read as neutral, these backs do. So I think they'll be very nice um, as part of your projects. Alrighty. <laughs> there you go, Debbie. See what I'm saying? All right, they no longer have the tape on the embellishment packs. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's true. Very good catch, Kathy. I like that. And I'm, I'm good with that because I tend to put these in my plastic storage pockets from Stampin' Storage. And so these are just kind of annoying for me, the, the cardstock is, once I get going. So, but they're very good catch. Okay, so this anyway, this is the Zoo Crew Designer Series paper. All right, okay. Okay, so that's it. Okay, okay. All right, now here we go. Here are a couple of bundles that are not sweet. Hang on a second. Or here's a, I don't know how that got all off there. Let's go over there, stamped with love. Here is, we'll just do this one now because I pulled it out. Here is the Angel Policy stamp set from the new catalog, which means if you're selling your cards, stamping up um, ass slash requires that you put the copyright stamping up on the back. But what I love about this, so this set gets you this, but you also get this really cool stamp right here. So you can just stamp that on the back and then with maybe one of your fancy new stamp and write markers, write your name in there so people know who that's from. But I just think this is adorable. It's a photopolymer set, and I'm very, very happy with this. All right, so now let's look at a suite. The first suite I have pulled up here to share with you is, uh, well, it's the Beautiful Balloons is the name of the um, stamp bundle. It is the Bright and Beautiful Suite, okay? So it is anchored with some beautiful balloons. It's a photopolymer stamp set. And um, you get quite a few pretty balloon images. And then you get a cool die set. Now, I did take time to run this die through my cutter, and you can see what you get. When you put the die into the cardstock or onto the cardstock like this, it cuts like so. And you can see it's got, it's all the way um, perforated. It's completely separate, separated. Does that even make sense? Uh, that's completely separated. But if you cut it out and cut one edge off, then you get a fringe like so. And that fringe, there's no telling what you could, even if you didn't want to use it on a card, which why wouldn't you? It's pretty darn cool. And they've got a sample in the catalog that you'll see soon where they've used a couple of the pieces of the really cool DSP that goes with, and they've done several fringes and overlapped them so that it makes a really cool fringed border. So there is how to do that. You can have it ingrained and integrated into your cardstock, or you can cut one edge off and create a fringe which I think is kind of fun. All right, and then you've got a tag and some stars and the balloons that cut out the images. And I think it's gonna be cool. So let's look at, let me put this back in its little holder to make the middle of flowers. That's right. It is like a mini cover sheet die. Yes, it would make grass. I like it. 
All right. And then here is the DSP. It's a six by six stack. Um, so you're gonna get four of each of these designs. We'll just go through them like so. You can see one color side is very um, designed and the other is quite neutral. I think that looks like a mountain range or a range out on the, I think it looks like that um, Enjoy the Journey set myself, that DSP that is retiring now. A little bit of uh, lemon lime twist coming your way. Fun. Fun and pretty. I like it. I even like the berry burst. And as we all know, as I think I have been very clear in saying, I don't like berry burst. But look, this is the one that they used the uh, in the sample. This is the one that they made the fringe out of. So you get this fringe with all the stripes of color. If you do a couple of three of those, that is really cute on a card front, which you will see. The other thing that comes with this suite, in the suite, is some Gold Celebrations Specialty DSP. That's fancy for its acetate. So this is going to be really fun for um, making shaker cards, if you like to do shaker cards. So let's see the three designs right here. I'll put it on this. I think you can see it on there. This one has confetti. This one has polka dots or sequins. And then this one has confetti and stars. And I did see there are a couple of samples in there in the catalog where they've made that into a shaker card, which is really cute. Now, y'all know I'm not a huge shaker card person, right? That's just not my role, but I might have to try it with this pretty acetate. Okay, all in all, this is the bright and beautiful suite. All right, now let me go ahead and show, set this aside so we can get something else out. Okay, 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 this one. This could, there's the next two are like my favoriteest things in the new catalog. This one is the Countryside in Sweet. Are you ready? Are you ready for some of the prettiest paper ever? Ever. Ever. Alrighty. Okay, this is the Countryside in Sweet. It is anchored by Countryside Corners. And, oh, look, it's blank. The Countryside Corners dies. Let me show you what this does. This is one big stamp set. Now, if this all stayed together, I had this really great idea for how to show you what this does. Okay, so one big stamp set. And then these are all of the dies that come on the bundled die set. What you want to do is you're going to stamp the whole image, and then you can cut out whichever rings you want by putting... You can do one die and get a big old label with a nice edge on it, or you could do two dies and have like a strip, or you could do three dies and get a big label with two, two stripes on it. So lots of things that you can do with this, but you can see they do nest quite nicely in there. And so this is gonna be, I think this is really gonna be fun. Now, there's a second stamp set. It doesn't come with the suite, okay? You don't get the suite. You don't get this when you buy the suite, but you'll want it separately because it coordinates with it and it's where you're gonna come up with your sentiment. So you have, I'm so sorry, I'm so thankful. May the years ahead be filled with lasting joy. Um, so you've got birthday, thinking of you, hoping for better days ahead. So sorry you're going through this. So this is a very, very multi-purpose sentiment set. Really a lot of fun. And then, y'all, seriously, look at the paper. The paper. Now, wait a minute. I've got something missing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I will demo that one. I absolutely will, Kathy. You got it. All right. I cannot even get this open. Here we go. Hey, Carolyn. Yes, I love the new colors myself. This is the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. And if I was any kind of a demonstrator at all, I would have had a piece already embossed for you. But second best option is to just put a piece of cardstock in there so that you can see the design better. There we go. Some pretty orchid oasis. Thank goodness it's not going away. Okay, now, can you see the design? Quite pretty. I love it. 
and it perfectly coordinates with this absolutely stunning paper. I, I don't know, this paper and the next one I'm gonna show you are all ready, 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 my favorites. We've got, um, this is all blues, so we got Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, which is back, and Night of Navy, all in one gorgeous pack of paper. Look, pretty. Look at those cute bunyas, little bunyas. Love that paper. See how that, those designs match the design in the, uh, in the stamp set. Really, really, really nice coordination. I know, Holly, the blues are beautiful this year. And we have a lot of new ribbon in blues as well. I don't have all of them because we couldn't get them yet, but come the second or third of May, you can bet I will. So there will be another peak after I'm allowed to purchase from the whole catalog. All right, so if any of you are wishing you had this in your hands right now and you're not a demonstrator, sign up, baby. You can put these things in your starter kit. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Some foxes. Some pretty dots. That definitely reads as a neutral background. Oh my goodness. Anybody's brain making cards while I'm doing this besides mine? My, okay, oof. All right, Countryside Inn is the name of the suite. Let me get that so I don't lose it. And let me put this somewhere where I won't lose it. Okay, now the final suite that we were able to pre-order. Okay, wait, I don't wanna show you that. Wait a minute, I gotta find it so that I name the suite correctly. It's the Fresh as a Daisy suite. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Skid Daddy? All right, so the anchors is the Cheerful Daisies and the Coordinating Dias, which are just wonderful. So you've got Oops a Daisy, in case you screw up. I will never personally need to use this sentiment, but it's there for those of you who maybe do, you know, mess up occasionally. And a birthday, you made my day, and your friendship means everything, and then beautiful, beautiful flowers. Okay. There's also some dots, adhesive back solid gems in um, copper, whatever that is, and boho blue and lemon lolly. What is the name of that copper thing? Hang on a minute. Copper clay, copper clay, copper clay. I have a year to get that right. I do. All right. I love these. And they, they are a little thicker, but these are the faceted gems and um, very pretty. Okay. Now, let's look at DSP. Let me pull this out. Wait a minute. Okay. The very first design, well, wait, let me do this. Let's go through it already. Now, this is very bright and yet sort of subdued. Does that make sense? That it can be both things at once. Um, so you have some pebbled path on one side of this beautiful paper, and then, the, well, the daisies are gorgeous. If you love the, uh, the uh, Dainty Flowers DSP, this is going to be very similar to it in, in your world of happiness and joy. Yes, oh, look at that one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And I know some people are not loving wild wheat yet, but I promise this is, this is gonna be a popular color, I think. And then this is beautiful too. Okay with the uh, copper clay on the back. See, I'm just gonna keep saying it and then I'll have it down. Love this one. Okay, now there is one more design in the paper and here it is right here. And you look at this and your brain kind of goes, wait, what? Okay, so let me tell you, I will, I will do this again on a video when, when I make my first card with this. I will show you how to do that. Do the dies cut the DSP flowers? Um. I am not convinced of that. There are not, sorry, I got sidetracked. There are not enough flowers that stand off by them. Maybe that one, possibly, possibly these, um, possibly these. I'm, I'm not real sure, Debbie. It's gonna take me a minute to um, kind of figure this one out. Is the background color wild wheat? Um, this one is, yes. Is that what you were asking me? This is copper clay. Here's uh, Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, 
And then this has the pebbled path with the, um, so yeah, this one's very much oriented around the end colors, definitely. All right, so when you get this, the first cut that you're gonna wanna make, if you cut right here, you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get these pieces. Well, sure you are. You'll get one square piece and a rectangle and a, what this is a um, four by five and a quarter piece. So if you cut them correctly, you'll get many, many pieces out of it, okay? So you just have to look at it. There's one line that goes all the way down the paper. So start here, and if you put your page at your edge at four and a quarter and cut, you'll be ready to go, okay? Once you have that gone, then you can cut on this line. Once you have that gone, you can cut on this line. And then it's just a matter of cutting these up. And you've got all of these beautiful pieces that are actually perfect for putting on cards. Wild wheat confuses me. What would you, I, I think I would almost call it a, a mustardy color. It's kind of mustardy to me, but um, I'm easy. Okay, so then these are, these are all with the uh, Moody Mauve on the back. So the back of that sheet is all Moody Mauve. But you can see what you get here. These are all the same size. And then you get a couple, oh, should have turned them like that. That one's a little different. That one's a little different. And then you get two like this. So it's pretty easy to cut it out. Just look and find that one line that goes all the way through the 12 by 12. And once you get that cut, there will be another line that goes all the way through the remaining paper. And you can just cut them right up and be ready to rock and roll, which is what I have done. So now one might even say, I am ready to rock and roll. I know, this this is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I love this one. Is, is this the one you mean? I like this. Yeah. Um, it is quite, it is actually pretty darn dark. Um, it's a very good color. I think it's going to be a great color. I really do. And I know people have used rather unflattering names for it, but I think it's pretty. And that is not going to go back in there very easy. It'll be like tying a bow online on, on the thing, and I'm not doing it. You can't make me. All right, let me put this back in so I don't lose any pieces. Okie doke. Now, setting this aside. And now we have um, stamps and dies. Let's talk about one that's perfect for us crafters. This is the Crafting With You bundle. I mean, seriously, you can cut out a stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? With the stamp and cut and emboss machine die after you stamp it. It has a trimmer that you can cut out. It doesn't have a trimmer stamp, but you can cut out a piece of cardstock that, uh, is gonna look and emboss itself like a trimmer. And then you've got some bobbins and you've got, um, I saw that, Where, what did I just see? Hang on a second. Oh, it's an embroidery hoop and you even have the piece that you can cut out from the center to make your embroidery area. You've got scissors, you've got a sewing machine, you've got a basket, um, an easel, uh, it's just really darling, and it is perfect for us. It is perfect for us. Would I say uh, close to River Rock, but now not so much. I don't think I know River Rock. Do I think the colors are deeper than online? Um, maybe. M maybe. They're richer feeling, if that makes sense. Okay, we have circle sayings. If you guys know me, I like circles and things, and the way, the samples that I have seen are quite nice, and oh yeah, you get a two and three eighths inch circle punch in the bundle. Love it, love it, love it. I do love punches, anybody but me love punches? Yeah, baby, uh-huh. Hey, Amy, appreciate you coming. All righty, so you get thank you, smile, happy birthday, thinking of you, um, celebrate. It, it, this is a fun little set, it's photopolymer, so it'll be very easy to line up. And of course, you get some shells, 
because who doesn't love shells? And some sam and uh, some flowers. And the samples I saw in the um, the catalog are quite cute. All right, here we go. We have Lazy Days. This is a bundle, and this is one of this is what I would call a scenery bundle, where you can stamp images and cut them out, and then you have some also standalone dies. This creates like a porch, um, the edge of a porch. So you can create all sorts of little scenes. You've got two rocking chairs, one that is stamped and can cut out, and then one that is just a die. You've got some baluster, you've got some foliage, and I like Welcome to Our Street. It's always good. It's always a good day when it's your birthday. It's always a good day when we spend time together, when you take time for yourself. Home is where our story begins. So this is a really fun set of sentiments. Um, if you have to welcome folks to your neighborhood or to your school or to your street, then uh, you're good to go. I don't know if we have... That two and three-eighths is pretty large. If, if, if we have had this before, it's been a hot minute. I'm just saying. All right, we have wonderful thoughts. This is similar to the Charming Sentiments set in the current... Um, in the uh, current catalog, and, which is also carrying over. So now you're going to have two, and then we have different kinds of sentiments here, which I really like. This is only the beginning of a life filled with love, so for weddings, you're much appreciated. It's okay to fall apart. I'm still here for you. You can do amazing things. I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. Great stamp set. Um, and I I think it's fun when they can, we can set... Um, cut these out. And there, to be quite honest, there are fewer cut out sentiments than in charming sentiments. So I think this one will be a little easier to figure out, well, this die goes with this sentiment. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, now for somebody who is scared to scuba dive but really likes snorkeling, there we go. Here we go, Beauty of the Deep. Love it. I love it. So the stamps, the uh, dies cut out all of the images, and then you also get these, this additional coral image and some smaller corals and some really pretty fish. You know, we actually saw these fish in Maui. No kidding. They actually f swim free in the wild. <coughs> I did not see an anchor, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. It just means that I just barely could get my head in the water because I was a scaredy cat. Hang on a sec, I gotta have a drink. <coughs> All right. Now, for anybody who enjoys the Nested Friends bundle, just so you know, <coughs> you won't see that set in the next catalog, but it is going to be an online exclusive, so you'll still be able to get it once the catalog retires at the end of the month. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I think I waited one breath too long to take a sip. All right. This is seasonal branches, and the dies are amazing. You can cut out branches. Then you can stamp three different kinds of, le of foliage. So that means you can cross the seasons. You're going to have some berries. You're going to have some flowers. You're going to have some leaves that you could color in fall colors or spring colors. And you can cut them all out and adhere them with to the dies that are the to the branches which I think is really cool and you get a little bird and some flowers and an apple and I think it's going to be fun and it's a happy birthday may you feel sheltered in the love that surrounds you sending an abundance of love or sending an abundance of thanks or sending an abundance of get well wishes so for those of you who've been looking for get well sentiments here's a set for you I think you'll find it to be a good one let me see Wonderful Thoughts and see if there was one in there. Uh, nope, this one is not an okay. This is not for Get Well, but it certainly has sympathy kinds of sentiments. All right, Timeless Arrangements is next. This is another fun one. Based on the samples and what Amy told us they saw when they were in Utah, you can cut out these foliage pieces and then cut out sentiments with the rectangles that are stitched that are in here and then layer them over the top. So what ends up happening is um, you would have a sentiment like this on this sentiment, on this uh, stitched rectangle. And 
easy, easy trigger. You could cut out two or three of those and layer them behind and they would peek out around the edge. Ah, fun. I love those. I know you know that I am not a big fan of layers. I'm all about clean and simple. So this one is not quite up my alley, but I'm going to try to adjust. I hope you all know that that's crazy because I love layers and this is going to be awesome. I love it. And we have with it some awesome sentiments. You make me smile. You're my everything. Your kindness means everything to me. A very big thanks, love, and thanks. Hope your day is filled with everything good. Thanks for always believing me in me. Sorry. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. Oh, you make me smile. You're so kind. I really appreciate you. The great set. Very, very, very versatile set. And I love the way these are going to layer up. I really do. Mm -hmm. Did I say I really love them? Yeah, it's true. I do. All right. Now, let's see. Unless I am mistaken, I am towards the end. I have a bunch of Stampin' Blends. I've got new ink pads, new ink refills, and I'm going to be setting up my ink pad station. Uh, I'm going to go with color again by color, not by family or in colors. I like it in the rainbow. So once I get that done, I'll take a picture and we will talk about how I picked what I picked. So I've got lots of rearranging to do. But just so you know, my catalog should be here tomorrow and I will I will prioritize getting those out the door. So with any luck, I'll have them out the door no later than Saturday morning. All right, here's our last one. It's a bundle. It's the little monkey bundle and it has a little monkey builder punch. So you can cut out the body and uh, some, that's either, a, I'm gonna say that's an ear maybe, yeah. And a banana and another ear and a face. And you can add in just swinging by to say, hi, I'm Bananas About You and Little Monkey. So cute set. If you like cutesy fun sets, then this is going to be your, your, go, your jam. I have one more ribbon. This is ribbon that is in Lemon Lime Twist and Petal Pink. You get two. And here you go. So the petal pink one is a thicker ribbon and it's got some um, embroidered stripes. And then you have a slightly thinner one in mostly lemon lime twist with kind of a lighter thread through it. So, and it's quite, it's, a, it's quite a bit thinner. The lemon lime twist is an eighth inch wide and the petal pink is a quarter inch wide. All right. So that's it. Does anybody have any questions or want to see anything again? How cute is that monkey? The answer you're looking for is cute. Let me look around be sure I didn't miss anything. No, I don't think I did. If you have any questions or want to see something again, let me know and I will pull it back out. Y'all, I, I cannot stress enough how cool the new Stampin' Right markers are. I am beyond psyched. I just have to say I am beyond psyched about how cool they are. All right. Okay, guys, I appreciate you spending 40 minutes with me. My goodness, that was a long video, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope uh, for you demonstrators that your pre-order's on the way, and if you are not a demonstrator, but you'd like to get your hands on this sooner than later, let me know. I'll be glad to hook you up. I'd love to have you on the team. All right. See you guys. Oh, can I show the new in colors for 2324? 2324. Yes, ma'am, I can. Um... I will show you in ink pads. So here is Pe Pebbled Path, Boho Blue, Wild Wheat, Copper Clay, and Moody Mauve. Does that help you? Becky, is that helping you? Just let me know if you need more or different. You know what, let me move that. That looks like you've got some glare. There we go. All right, that'll make it a little easier. So Pebbled Path is kind of a gray. Boho Blue is as defined blue. Wild Wheat, there's Wild Wheat. It's got a little bit of a green undertone, but to me, it's kind of, it's almost a mustard, but way different than Crushed Curry. So if you were thinking it might be like Crushed Curry, no, it's not. Copper Clay and Moody Moth. All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down here, and I hope 
Y'all have a great rest of your week. I will see you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow for a video. Tomorrow's, is tomorrow Thursday? Yeah, tomorrow at one for a video for a new card. All right, see ya. Ta.